Hello everyone and thank you for watching the video. I've got a ball cap that I'm wearing here that I really like. The problem is uh, there's no way to make adjustments to it anymore because the snapback broke. So I've never repaired one of those before. Uh, we're going to try to do that today. And uh, right now it's, you know, there's really no setting or position at, that it's in. So let me show you what it looks like. All right, here's a closer look of what's happening. See where the plastic just broke away? No, so I'm going to try to fix that. I'm going to see if I can find some needle and thread. And I'm going to try to sew another one on if I can find one. So I'm going to go through uh, some old ball caps, try to find this part of the snapback, and see if we can uh, replace this bad one here. So I did find another one, I believe. Uh, so let's go ahead and take this one off. Okay, so it's stitched on here. It looks like uh, double stitched. So this is not the sharpest knife in the world. But we'll see if it will work for this. Just want to break these stitches on this side and the back side. So I'm not going to film all of this. Uh, let me see what the back will be like. I'm actually just breaking it. I'm not cutting it. So I uh, need a better knife, but I think, uh, I think we'll manage. So I'm going to get right back after I make some progress. It's still on up here. Well, there it goes. Okay, so it's plastic. So we have to push the needle through um, this thinner area here. Or actually, actually this is thinner here. So we're probably going to try to shoot for going through here. Instead of the thicker area, see how they went through some of the thick area? It started out kind of with the thin. So uh, that's what we want to do. We want to push it in. How was it? Like that. Yeah, push it in like right there and try to uh, catch that thinner part. Otherwise, it's really going to be hard to push a needle through. Okay, so I found an old ball cap. I uh, couldn't find a white one, so this navy blue one I thought would be a good one. And it's actually thinner. It's thinner than the old one. Right here anyway. This is almost brittle. This has got a lot of flex to it, which is kind of what we want. Uh, the only problem is these tabs and the notches don't really go together very well so if I were to have sewed it in there it would have really never held see that just falls out so that's useless um, I had to go find another ball cap and we've got uh, this one here got good flexibility and it's pretty thin here uh, it's not it's not a navy blue it's more of a more of a royal blue I guess that's okay, I really don't care. But it does uh, snap in there, so that's perfect. So we're gonna try to use this one. Uh, let me go grab my needle and thread kit. So I was able to come up with the uh, little kit here. I think that's like a dollar store kit. I don't even think I've used it before. Going with some white thread. Um, it did have a, a thimble here it's plastic and uh, yeah just broke off some white thread I wanted to you know kind of yank on it a little bit make sure that it's not so old that it's just gonna break so uh, I think we're okay all I need to do now is thread it through the needle eye of the needle and uh, and get started
So all I do, th this is not going to be a video on how to sew, um, but all I do is just take the ends, even them out, and then tie a knot at the end. So we'll just, the end will be match up right here. That's the, that's the goal. Here's where the uh, thread line will be at, centered, where it was, where the old one was, like right here. That's, that's where we want to shoot for. Uh, also, see how this one is on the bottom? Because we got a lot of room here. We could, you know, come all the way down if we needed to. We're going to keep it lined up. Like it's matching one over there at we're gonna you know sew it right here and not down not down here actually see how that's separated so uh yeah right here's where we'll start at i want to do it from the back side so i'm gonna have to reposition myself here okay i've got it turned around uh i'm gonna start Think kind of in the center. Okay, here's the thimble comes in right here. Now, a lot of people will use it, I guess, on the middle finger. I really don't know how to use these too well, so I've always just used it on my thumb because I can just push it a lot easier. And I gotta have fingers that are not sticky. Or they're not, not sweaty, I'm sorry. Okay, flipping it over here. Gonna go back through. Using my thimble again. Make sure I don't jab my thumb. I gotta dry my hands. <laughs> and I'm gonna double stitch everything. All right, now we're going to be going back through the plastic. So I still have some thread. I'm going to go ahead and use that up. One thing is for certain, this will not come out. It's key to keeping the fingers dry, making sure you don't stick yourself. Other than that, it's not hard at all. Unless you do something stupid like that right there.
Ah, I did that again. Can't believe that. Look at that. Okay, on the back side here, finishing up, I'm just doing this number here so that uh, it doesn't uh, fray out. And I'm just getting ready to break the string away here. I don't know what you call this, but it's when you get finished pretty much. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and cut it. Overall went pretty well. It's actually like triple stitched. There's no way this thing is going to come out. Uh, kept it in line pretty well. See where the uh, the original was at, and they kind of crossed into the the thicker portion. So we were trying to stay away from that actually. So most of this was in the thinner. Took it all the way down here. So that's really tied in there. Again, we, we started up at the top, just like we have uh, this one here. Definitely made sure that uh, this piece was gonna snap in to the original slots. We are good here. That thing is, is not gonna come out. All right, so uh, that's it for uh, fixing a snapback easy to do really took under I don't know 45 minutes maybe um, gotta have a thimble gotta have dry fingers you know use something like this each time you start to pull the needle through um, that's it uh, what else uh, can I say about it um yeah make sure you don't stick yourself and not difficult to do at all let's try it on all right, found the perfect position. Um, feels good. It's not gonna fall off. Uh, back to the way it was before, so I was glad to be able to fix it. Again, it's one of my favorite caps that I, I like to wear. Um, so I'm happy overall. Thank you for watching the video. Until next time, have a great day out there. Take care.